This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! duel video but this time we are in the dueling book servers because Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and Dev Pro have not updated for Link Era yet and that kind of irks me on a deep level because I want to play with Link Era bullshit. I want to play with the current rule set of the game. Like that's the main reason there haven't been any duel videos going out but I do actually feel like I really want to do duel videos on dueling book because I could also just do like dueling book commentary videos of watching other people play because unfortunately when I play there's a lot of lag for some reason like I don't understand why there's so much lag I need to figure out what's going on it might just be my graphic processing unit but I don't think it is because of the fact that like when I watch other people play games it's not nearly as bad it's for it's for some reason only when I play games physically myself it lags a lot more significantly than it does otherwise. But so he activated Union Hanger and he's just normal summoning A. Okay. Uh, but I'm playing, as you can see, Pendulum Magicians. I've got Gofu in it to allow me to make Deco Talker off of one card, just to open up two more spots to summon from the extra deck into. Even though Pendulum Magicians is one of, uh, one of a stronger sort of deck to uh, play in Link Era because you have Apex Avions, you have Lunas, you have Harmonizing Magician, all these cards that you just like to play from hand. Oh, okay, so. He's doing this build. He's doing the transmodify build to make, you know, uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity and ABC Dragon Buster. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm really curious as to why he didn't put B on the A, because then it would search C, and then this would search Galaxy Soldier, which would then let him s discard the C for Galaxy Soldier number two. I'm a little curious about that one. Uh, he might have sequenced it wrong. He might have a B in his hand, but even then I still think that it's more correct for him to have equipped B there and not C. So he could have gotten a search to to fuel the cost of that Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, see, he, even though he had this B in hand, I still think it's correct, because now he's just down an extra card for no reason. Uh, but I'm still probably going to lose this game. I don't know if I can deal with Cyber Dragon. Well, no, he can only summon one! That's right, he can't summon ABC Dragon Buster, so I'm only going to be dealing with a Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, so this is actually much easier than I originally had thought. So yeah, now that he, he just doesn't have a lot of cards. Um, so this is, this is fine, to a degree. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I need to reread this card. I need to remind myself what this card does. Um, let's see, once per turn, equip, yeah, once per turn, either place turn when a card or effect is activated. Uh, okay, so we can negate effects. That's what I need to be wary of. Now, what I'm capable of doing is I'm capable of doing things with Purple Poison Magician, potentially. Uh, but So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give him any information. I'm just going to Special Summon this, and I'm going to attempt to use the Tokens F um, to see where it gets me. If he negates it with Cyber Dragon Infinity, damn it. I wanted him to negate it. 100% <laughs> wanted him to negate. So, what I can do from here is I can use Double Iris to pop itself. I could play Star Pendulum Graph. I could use Double Iris, pop itself by, uh, by Normal Summoning Skullcrabat Joker. There's a few different things that can happen here. Uh, but what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going go to go ahead and commit to my Deco Talker. Uh, because I can actually just make Deco Talker, and I can actually just make it really big. I'm not answering that phone call. I should have definitely muted my phone before I started this recording. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do so. Uh, but so, I'm going to ask if this summon is okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we'll remove. And then summon the second Link Spider here. Uh, and then Decode Talker will come out with these. So... I really like Dueling Book. I like Dueling Book because I like Dueling Book, and I subsequently liked DN a lot when it was still around because of the fact that it's like you're playing a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you're actually having to communicate with people. You're actually having to understand how your cards work. Uh, that's the thing. It's like I just, hmm, I just uh, 
Let's see. I just I need to normal summon this and use its effect. Uh, so I'll normal summon this uh, and use its effect. If he negates it here, I'm fine with that. Uh, because if he negates this, then I'll be able to go Wisdom Eye. Okay, he's negating it. Good. All right. So, so it goes to my extra deck face up. And so now I can activate the Star Pendulum Graph. I can put Double Iris and Wisdom Eye in my in my nonsense. So I'll activate this in the right, and then I'll activate this in the left, uh, and I'll use Wisdom Eye. F. So Wisdom Eye will trigger, and then I'll be able to put I'll be able to put a I'm going to be able to pendulum into these zones with Deco Talker. So I'm going to be able to beat over the Cyber Dragon Infinity. The biggest problem I'm going to have is I need to get the cards out of his graveyard that are uh, for the ABC Dragon Buster. That's going to be the biggest thing. Either that or I just have to kill him this turn, which could be a possibility. Uh, but so what I'll do here is I'll put... I need a low scale, so I need Purple Poison Magician. Um, so yeah, I'll put Purple Poison Magician into my scale. And then the Star Pendulum F. Uh, we'll add a Black Fang to my hand. And I'm doing Black Fang specifically because I can't use the other Harmonizing Magician effect, so it's kind of kind of a moot point. And so I'll add Black Fang, so I'm just going for damage at this point. Because I think I could probably kill him because of this giving a boost, and then, uh, and then this allowing me to make something do double damage. So there's probably things I could do there, especially with these cards. Uh, but so I get to Pendulum Summon 2. The only thing I'm worried about now is if there's a Solemn Strike back there. And if there is, um, then we're we're just going to take the L. Because, I mean, Pendulums, they take the L to strike. Uh, 100%. So we'll Pendulum these into the extra deck spots that are allowed to me by the Decode Talker. And then these will come out in the zones here. So, I'm going to Pendulum Summon all four of these. So, four. And, let's see. I could use Ignister to spin this and then Purple Poison to pop this. Um, so, there's there's a few different routes we can go down here. Uh, Harmonizing F. And I could actually destroy Black Fang. I can make Trapeze Magician. Yeah, this is definitely game. Well, well, well beyond game. Uh, in fact, I don't even think I need to use the double iris effect in the scale on anything, because this is just going to go away. But so I'll synchro with... I need to synchro with Wisdom Mime and the Harmonizing Magician into, into Ignister, and then I'll pop Purple Poison and spin that card, and then the Purple Poison will pop the Infinity. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're going to do. So we'll put this to extra face up to extra face up, and we'll make Ignister... And now uh, we'll ask if this is okay, and then I'll use uh, Ignister target purple poison. Uh, so, so I'll ask for a response because Ignister does not target. And if it's okay, then I will shuffle that back into his deck so that this doesn't become a problem. And then uh, purple poison F to destroy the Cyber Dragon Infinity. And from here, I get to overlay with the uh, Black Fang and the uh, Double Iris into, uh, into Trapeze Magician. And I can make Black Fang be able to attack twice. <laughs> yeah, he's just admitting defeat. Okay, good. So we did just kill him. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, so you just I just overlay with Double Iris and Skull Crabat Joker into Trapeze Magician. Detach the um, detach off of the Trapeze Magician. Detach the Double Iris Magician. Target Black Fang. Uh, this Decode Talker can attack for 3,300 because it's got two things pointing to it because the tra Trapeze will be here, the Ignister will be here. And then it'll be 33 Ignister, and then Trapeze, and then this can attack twice. And then even if it even if it wasn't game, this dies at the end of the battle phase, 
and when it's destroyed, it brings back the double iris magician that was in the graveyard. So there's just all that sort of stuff that goes into play. But so this video was actually not very long. It was only 10 minutes long, which is actually a reasonable length for just one game. But if you want to see more DB dual commentaries, essentially, as I can call them, then let me know in the comments down below. If I'm ever lurking around on Dueling Book and you want me to film a game of you playing stuff and commentate it, then that would also work because, like I said, lag affects me a lot less when I'm watching people play. And if that's something you want to do and you want to get your own name out on the channel or if you just want to show me something you're playing, then definitely I'd be more than happy to do so because it will take a little bit of workload off me. It will take a little bit of problems off me because, as you saw, it was kind of laggy for me to play. And I don't understand how I can fix this. If anyone has any ideas on how to fix it, then definitely let me know in the comments as well. Because holy shit, I would love to be able to play on this software a bit more reliably and a bit better. But anyway, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments down below as always. But other than that, like this video if you like this sort of thing and want to see more of it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And hit that little bell notification to join the notification squad if you want to not miss an upload. Other than that, links is always in the description of my Facebook fan page. As well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. You'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you wanted to go check out and potentially consider contributing to. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.